carrying on from previous videos where we did a quick overview of the fabric repository we installed the binaries and started using the tool the fabric tool using either aliases or inserting the fabric tool into the system path so we can call it directly like other system tools we covered installing building and installing the fabric tool using go and we also briefly covered cloning the repository so carrying on from there what we need to do next is we got to set up the fabric tool and that's done simply by dash capital s flag or you can use the long form to start using the tool we have to set up at least one of these and then we have to set up options 13 and 14 at the minimum to start using the tool now we do want to set up the youtube api key the gina can have further configuration but we're just going to get the tool up and going and when we get into the flags that pertain to youtube or gina we will at in those videos we will quickly set those up they're super easy nothing to worry about nothing nothing hard about any of this nothing to be scared of about any of this stuff so first First off, uh, if you have a llama installed, and, that, and that's what I'm going to use the most in these videos because it, it does, I'm not burning through credits. Not that it's very expensive, it's not, but I don't see any real use in burning through the credits. Just to get this set up and going, we'll set it up using a llama, and you know, we'll go ahead and set it up using. I have, uh, I believe, I have an OpenAI API key that I can use up on this, and then I'll just I'll burn the key before posting the video. No, no real big deal there. So let's start setting this up. We'll do option two, and here it says the it's usually at this location, the uh, the HTTP location, the endpoint, and that uh, this is actually wrong it's not one two three four it's eleven four thirty four uh the reason for that is is one and one one is like ll four is like a three is like m four is like a llama that, that's kind of what that stands for and i don't think we need to put in slash v1 we'll find out real quick actually but we want to put i'm pretty sure this is what we want to put in and you first you want to make sure you're if you have a llama the llm server a llama installed you know you that would have to be installed before doing this if you don't know how to install that I don't see any real point in me making a video about that because there's a lot of videos out there about installing Olama. It's super easy. You know, you go to their website, you select the platform that you have and all that. It's very, very easy. Find find one of many videos just like the rest of us had to do. But we, what we do want to do is check localhost. Go right into your browser and type localhost 11434 and it should just say Olama is running. That's how you verify your Olama server is up and running. Pretty simple. And so we will put in HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 11434 and it says configured but that's you know it's we we input something into it an endpoint that doesn't mean that it's working just because it says configured what we want to put in next uh, we have to configure default we have to download the patterns we have to configure the default model here so we have to go into option 13 and you can see this kind of verifies that that it's connected to a llama because it just sourced all the models that i have pulled down on this demo system for you know just trying out different models for different tasks and we we use deep seek a lot for heavy tasks especially reasoning tasks but we're just going to go with llama 3 2 3b so we'll we'll put in 37 here just to get the tool up and running the context length you know we'll pretend we don't know what that's even about right now so it's feel free to leave it empty it takes you back to the main menu and just press enter again and it drops you out so now we could type just to test it we could type fabric why is the sky blue and we'll do streaming pattern we you know technically you don't need a pattern uh and I'll, I'll show you that real quick it's a very basic thing but we'll put in raw query this is a raw query and ai those two patterns are very useful for a quick chat box type of interaction with the llm oh well we haven't downloaded the patterns i guess we need to do that so we'll type in 14 to download the patterns and you're going to want to leave this empty because the default setting is the correct location is the correct location right here to source the patterns and then where you want to put the patterns you're going to want to leave this empty because it's going to put it into the patterns folder and i'll show you where that is it's right here home newbie is our user login account and it's going to create you know dot config already exists and it should create fabric slash patterns and that's where it's going to put all the patterns so it ran that we'll drop out we'll just go check on that we now have a fabric directory where we didn't before it created the context extensions patterns sessions and environment by 
while to, to hold a bunch of environment variables and some security things. And now that we have the patterns folder, we can now type and see what happens. So it just runs this real quick. And to show you a quick thing, you, you actually, you could just use dash S. Now, what a pattern is, is it's just a, it's an instruction set inserted as a system prompt or a system message. And barring that, if you don't send a system message to an LLM via a payload, which is what the Fabric tool takes care of, it's gonna use any burned in system message or instructions. And pretty much all models do have that. And so, it's if you don't send a pattern it's going to use the default for whatever model you're hooked up to and they're usually very generic they're usually instruction based as in follow user instructions or act as an act as an assistant it is usually a general instruction that it's given so you can see without without using a pattern it still responds so just a, a curious fact that you might want to know so going back into our setup we can we can select option one to set up open ai so enter your open ai api key i'll use this one that i have here and i will delete it it's this long string so you see what these things look like i will delete it when i'm done so we would paste that into here and then the open ai api base url and they by default they have that at the ready so leave empty to use this one we will so we'll just leave it empty and press enter now open ai is configured and we can just check on that if we go into 13 and all of a sudden we have the olama models and now we have all the open ai models to choose from that we could enter in here so we can we'll just leave it empty so that we're using the of the local llama 3.23b model so we're not just burning through credits and that's all there really is to setting up the the bare minimums to get this thing going it's not much you would go through if you use any of these other models it's still as simple as that you're gonna enter api keys and other basic info api keys and endpoints are all that you really need to hook up to any of these lm studio is another local uh it's another local provider or a local llm server it uh, you know i have it on this system i've had it on this uh, this demo system for a while but i've never spun it up yet I, I guess i'll have to get to that but you know these are all pretty good these are all pretty good providers for sure so at any rate that's all there is to setting up the fabric tool to get going and using it. So now we could go into all kinds of demonstrations, which we're going to get into in the in the coming videos, the videos that are coming at you, and just basic usage. You know, it's it's all set up and ready to go just by typing fabric, or you can pipe anything to it. So we'll see you in the next one.